Bob Cohen and welcome to our home. This is our uh, guest house, container home, on our piece of property here in Winchester, Oregon, just outside of Roseburg. Mary and I have been married for a lot of years and we have five kids and all of our kids have now grown. We were looking for a piece of property down here in Roseburg area with the idea that my mom and dad are 89 years old and I have a brother and sister-in-law and so it just gave me an opportunity to be able to come back to Roseburg where I was raised. We looked for a spot on the river, found a beautiful spot, bought a really old house. As it turned out, our family and our grandkids just love to come and visit. Because we have limited number of bedrooms, we felt we needed to either add on to the house or we could find a project and build out a guest home. And we chose to take the route of building out a guest home, assuming the county and the city would uh, allow us to do so. With the container home, there's really three parts to the container home. There's two containers, which are 20 feet in length, and then there's a middle component, which is a build-out, stick frame build-out, that connects to the containers. So on the first part, you'll see uh, a container, which includes a master bedroom and also living space. And it was fully built out by the time it was delivered, meaning the closets and everything were fully built out. And then on the opposite side, there's another 20-foot container matching the first one. And that one was fully built out with the entire kitchen and also the bathroom, washer, dryer, shower, sink, cabinetry, fully built out by the time it was completed. And then the middle piece was constructed here by Allen & Allen Construction, which is a local general contractor builder that we hired separately and connected with the container home folks for which they worked closely together through the process. Additional components that I would highlight is the foundation. We could have technically put this thing on a slab or we could have had an underground foundation. We chose to do an underground foundation because if you look over on the left side, you'll see that we had all the connectivity, which is the same line connectivity that we have to our main house that's on the same piece of property. So we connected the gas, water, etc. on this side and we just tied it right in. On the other side we have more electrical power but also uh, air conditioning unit etc which was tied into the container on the other side. The, the benefit being that we had that design pre-completed so that relevant homes could make the ability to connect with the container home in a way that was very efficient for the build. I'd like to welcome you to our container home, uh, Bob and Mary Cohen Guest House. This is our beautiful space where our guests are able to come and enjoy the light of the windows and the freshness of it, and at the same time, we're trying to make it very homey. So this is our living room, and as I mentioned earlier, this is an extension of really one of the container homes. It's a 20 foot in length container and eight feet in width. And so right here is the eight foot spot of living space. And then we have another 10 feet of build out space and then another eight feet of container space. We just left an open concept so that we could all enjoy not only visiting with one another, but the open space to make it a larger room. I would just point out a couple of features about our open living space that make a significant difference to us and our guests. And that is, right up here we have a fan. <laughs> so if you were to do a tiny home, I strongly encourage that you include a fan because it circulates the air. And especially with container homes, they're so dang efficient. And what Relevant Homes designed, which we weren't aware of in the beginning, is a little press button here, which will also circulate outside air into the container home. So the combination between it and the fan, and then you add that additional component of an air conditioner, and it is first rate. It's awesome living. I'd also uh, just like to point out the loft. 
we did do a last minute design of a ladder. It's a very sturdy ladder and most notably up at the top of the ladder there's a hand grip. That's for safety reasons to come up the ladder as well as down the ladder. But in addition we did another unique feature which was this wood structure makes it feel incredibly homey but also we extended the height such that I'm 6'3 and I can stand up. As a result, we put a bed in here and we can make the bed, et cetera, without crawling around. And we have room for, you know, a chest of drawers or something of that nature. It stays very cool in here because like I mentioned before, we have the air conditioning and the fan in the centerpiece. So not only is there good light, it's not too much heat. And so it's very comfortable from what our guests have shared with us as well as our own experience. Mary was looking at possibilities of what we could do. And I think it might have been something like Pinterest. Came across these tiny homes and uh, the container home without question caught her attention immediately. And then we looked into possible designs and we were just surprised about the creativity and also the look and feel in relation to where we're living on the river. I think it's um, that combination of durability, but also it just seems so fitting, like we're not building some kind of monstrosity. I was amazed that you can make it fit right within the dynamics of our outdoor living space. It's considered an adjoining unit and so we could tap into all of the existing electricity, the sewer, the water, and from a financial standpoint, that's very significant, but more importantly, from a, a compliance and to gain approvals, it's even more important. Now for a brief message from our sponsor, Ada Health. Have you ever Googled your health symptoms? It can be really confusing and downright terrifying. Seriously, don't do it. But just talking about health problems can be scary too. And that's part of what kept me from confirming my ADHD diagnosis sooner. That's why Ada is so helpful. It's the world's most popular and accurate symptom assessment app. And it's 100% free, confidential, and available in seven languages. You'll receive free healthcare insights verified by doctors, packaged in easy to read and easy to understand articles. I find it reassuring to have a better understanding of the possible causes of my symptoms so I don't get overwhelmed when I do talk directly with a healthcare professional. Simply download the Ada app, check your symptoms, and find answers because your health matters and your family's too. Create an unlimited number of profiles for you and your family members. Download the Ada app today. This is a uh our master bedroom for the container home, but that's a work in process. We haven't put up pictures or anything yet, but it's a very comfortable space and, you know, plenty of space. More importantly, we were able to fit a nice sized closet. And so in the closet, uh, you can see that we have, you know, just room for people to store things. But in addition, we also have some extra bedding in case somebody wants to use an extra space for upstairs, etc. And then right across the way is the bathroom and uh, we like the design and like I said before this was fully built out. It is a very spacious bathroom. More importantly back behind here is a full washer dryer. Very good use of space and then a walk-in shower. So feels like it's really relevant and in, in terms of the amount of space and the comfort of what we have to offer here. <music> The cost of this structure was a lot less expensive than it would be if I built a, an additional home or if I did a reconstructive project next to my, my main house here. The price was preset based upon the design. We didn't make one change, so we had no change orders with the container folks. It was to be a three payment installment, a down payment of 50000 another payment of 50000 and one more payment upon completion and satisfaction of 50000 And it's exactly what it was. And exactly it was as it was proposed, contracted, and completed. 
Our next level of build out, which was the eight feet between the 20 foot containers, that was bid, but with an unknowing of what that pricing was ultimately going to be. Plus we were in the middle of COVID. That created some challenges for us from a pricing standpoint, and we spent more money than was anticipated, even though it was not contractual. It was a moving target because our local builder hadn't done it before. And then the additional build out was approximately $40,000. And so I think we're all in on this space for $200,000. And, you know, while on the one hand it's a lot of money, on the other hand it's a very complete home and the efficiency associated, the, the cost of supporting the home is much lower than our other houses. <laughs> and as I mentioned before, it's livable space, meaning this is a full, very functional <laughs> sink, but also, you know, the dishwasher, the stove, the refrigerator. And when I say that, these aren't like mini size, these are functional size. So when we have guests that stay here and we come back up, it's cleaned up like your kitchen would be. It's, you know, it's, it's just a, a, an incredibly easy space to use and utilize. The last thing that I would, I would say is that um, as we went through the design and the build process, the thing that I think Mary and I most greatly appreciated is that while the containers come fully built out, as I mentioned before, we had a lot of room to personalize both of the containers as well as the centerpiece. And what I mean by that is the color of the paint inside and outside, the features associated with a couple of uh, window features and where plugins are, all of those things that you think about when you're building a home, you have the opportunity to do that. They have ready-made models but then you have a sense of design and touch and feel, which makes it, in the end, our own, our family. When I, when I think of a guest home, I think of, you know, have, having somebody come and visit with us, have their own space, and then to join us when they wish to join us. But that private space that's very efficient if it, was, if it wasn't efficient, it wouldn't have the same kind of a feel for us. I, I just wanted to make sure that I added that for us, that completes a guest house. Obviously, it's like real living space, those that live full time in, in tiny homes. Mary and I, have, and our family, and extended family, are now a really big fan of a container home. I wasn't sure, but I'm a huge fan. The efficiency of these homes are incredible. If you were to compare it to our house and air conditioning or electricity or whatever, it's just an incredibly efficient lifestyle, which we really appreciate and value. And I would also add, uh, they're very quiet, very peaceful inside. And you don't hear the noises as you do in some homes, especially in our case, an uh, older home. And so that entire complete set of efficiencies we love. And then your ability to transform it by, by way of decorating, it's not that significant of a project. So we can change the look and feel over time. We've not done anything as of yet, but over time we can change the look and feel to continue to make it ours. So that's also enjoyable. our video and for stopping by tiny house expedition i'm alexis and i'm christian don't forget to like comment and subscribe and for more tiny home tours and stories click the videos below and join us on instagram for bonus content including face-to-face -face conversations with us <laughs> <laughs> we hope to see you there all right thanks guys have a good one